I'd like to call to order this February 3rd, 2017 Shelburne Select Board meeting. Welcome. Before we get started, a couple of announcements. At 6.30 this evening, there was an armed robbery at TD Bank. The alleged robber escaped our Shelburne Police Department. It's looking for him right now. So please, an unknown amount of cash was taken. Please keep your eyes open for a red Jeep Wrangler. And the alleged perpetrator was a white male. In addition, over here, there, are, there is a sign-in sheet, copies of tonight's agenda, and a copy of the Vermont Municipal Administrative Procedures Act. And we have heard that there is a sedan with a partial license plate of F as in Frank, J as in Jack, X as in X-ray with your lights on. Before we get started, I'd like everyone to know that after today's court hearing, attorneys, the attorney for the town and the attorney for Mr. Dean had some conversations. And at this time, I would entertain a motion for the board to enter executive session to discuss this matter and invite the town attorney and Mr. Dean's attorney. So moved. Moved by Colleen. Have a second. Second by John. Any discussion? Hearing Will there be any opportunity for the public to make comments on this meeting? Hey, we've got, I'm probably at 100 Excuse plus people me. here and uh, and there couldn't have been yeah. an announcement yeah. of this what before. Is this what's your roll comment? Let's roll. Sure. roll. Come on. What's the what's the Let's sense of the board on that? Do you feel that we should not be saying anything? Please, please do not yell out. We're yelling. <laughs> Section uh, 312H of the Open Meeting Law, which applies to quasi-judicial proceedings, provides that there. Are are not public comments to a quasi-judicial proceeding. That may be true, but they Excuse me. comment, is there an opportunity? You don't have to do that. There could be an opportunity Excuse in me. a more collegial way to, to sort of proceed on this. We so are all voters. Does anyone on the board, does anyone on the board have any comments about the motion to enter into executive session? Okay, I'd like you to repeat the comments you made about the two attorneys. Oh. Brian Monahan is the uh, town attorney, <coughs> and Pietro Lynn is Mr. Dean's attorney. And uh, after the hearing today, I understand that the two of them spoke to see if there could be a possible resolution of this matter so that the town and the parties do not have to go through this hearing. So uh, that's the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. All right, we have four ayes and one nay. We'll enter into executive session. I'd like to reconvene the February 3rd, 2017 Shelburne Select Board meeting. I'm very happy to report that after a discussion, everyone on the board is committed to working together in a way that is in the best interest of the town. As a result, we all agreed and although we couldn't take a vote, because we have to do that out here, to consider entering into a settlement agreement to resolve this. I will provide everyone here 
with a summary of those terms. This will also be a public document, so you can read it word for word if you, if you like. It'll be posted on the town website should it pass. And I would also add that the conversation in an, ex an executive session was what one member said, and I think appropriately, the first in what we hope is many positive steps for this board to repair and to go forward in a positive way. So here are the terms. And it's very short. Mr. Dean does not admit any wrongdoing, but out of a desire to put this matter behind him and to move forward in a positive and constructive manner, he will immediately recuse himself from participating in any manner in town litigation involving Vermont Railway Inc. and Barrett Trucking Inc., including but not limited to the federal court action, either as a town official or in his personal capacity. This recusal includes that Mr. Dean will not participate in town select board meetings, executive sessions, site visits, communications with anyone at Vermont Railway or Barrett Trucking or any subsidiaries or related entities of either. The select board and Mr. Dean agree to mutual general releases whereby Mr. Dean withdraws his ethics complaint and the board will not pursue an ethics complaint against Mr. Dean. The select board and Mr. Dean commit, and I believe this is a 100% commitment by all five members of this board, to working together to serve the town's best interest and to pursue a positive working relationship. <clears throat> All parties to this agreement agree and a com commit to abide by the laws of the state of Vermont in regards to their positions on the select board. All parties will pay their own attorney's fees. This is an agreement to compromise and avoid litigation. Neither party admits any wrongdoing and that no prior conduct up to the execution of this agreement by any party may be used as the basis for disciplinary action, including removal proceeding. I will let you know, after we discuss this, I reached out to shake Josh's hand, and he graciously took my hand in his own. And I believe every person on this board shares that feeling. We want this to be positive. We want to turn a negative into a positive. And I invite every member on the board to uh, make any comments before we entertain a motion <coughs> to approve the agreement. Does anyone, uh, Josh? I, I think it's appropriate for Josh to start. Josh? Um, I. I appreciate that ability to uh, start, and I, I agree with the tenor of your comments. I regret that uh, we had to get to this point, but I'm very happy that um, there uh, is a resolution that um, will help the move the town to move forward with mi uh, minimal expense caused by this. And I appreciate the efforts that the uh, other board members have taken to get us to this point. Thank you, Josh. Jerry, do you have something you'd like to? Yeah, it would be. Uh, it wouldn't be difficult to comment, uh, looking backwards, on how we got here and whether that was uh, in the best interest of the town. But I think the much more important sentiment is that this is a very positive first step to the kind of future that the community deserves and as their representatives that we should be uh, busy uh, putting in effect. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, John and Colleen? Just that this was um, something that I think we all took very, very seriously. 
and um, and I think we added a cor acted accordingly and to our best conscience, and uh, and we are all volunteers essentially, and we're here to really do the very best that we can, and not just individually, but as a team. And I think that we've reaffirmed that tonight. Thank you, Carla. Yeah. Um, I'll just say that, uh, you know, coming into this meeting tonight and all of you being here, um, you know, it's easy to prejudge us and say, oh, well, they knew they were gonna do this. To be quite honest with all of you here, we had no knowledge of what was gonna happen when we walked in the door. So we're in the same position you were in. What we saw happen was quite an effective discussion. The agreement is fair to both parties. Uh, we're comfortable with it. And the bottom line is we did the best thing for the town of Shelburne. We didn't act as individuals. There's no agenda here for any one of us on this board. And I may sound like I'm lecturing. There were comments made at the beginning of this meeting that upset me. And I want you all to know when you go home, we did the best thing for Shelburne, okay? And that's the way we all ought to work. And there's a commitment to, of the five of us to work harder together to make best decisions for this town. I don't gain anything personally by sitting up here and making a decision one way or the other. But the town does, and that's my interest. So if you ever have a question, you want to talk to me individually, reach out. I'm happy to talk to anybody. Thanks. Thank you, John. I would entertain a motion to approve this settlement agreement. So moved. Second. Moved by Colleen, seconded by Jerry. Brian, did you have a comment? Um, we, we should have somebody uh, be authorized on the select board to sign on behalf of the I see that there's a signature for everybody. Sure. Okay. Hey, okay. Signature for everyone. All right, so moved by Colleen and seconded by Jerry, right? Correct. Any further discussion here? Anyone? No. Does anyone here like to say something? If you could uh, first, Gail, and then uh, you, 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 we just need the microphone. I just want to say thank you to all of you for um, taking the time to talk with each other and to bring this to a better conclusion than a beginning. Thank <laughs> than you. Than the beginning was. Thank you, Gail. Could you pass? Oh, you got a microphone on. Hi, I'm a person squirrel, and I, I just have a question. The agreement is Josh will withdraw his complaint, and I think you said you, the, te the select board will not pursue theirs. Does that mean that you will withdraw that as well? Yeah, we haven't filed one yet, so we... But you will withdraw whatever the, the charges that you we're not gonna file. identified. Yeah, we're not going to file one. Okay, that's it. Thanks. Sure. All right. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? I want to personally thank two excellent attorneys who really not only represented their clients zealously and to their best of their ability, but they both convinced me that they cared deeply about doing what was the best for this town. It was uh, it's a testament to their both their characters. So thank you to Brian Monahan and Pietro Lynn. And I would also like to thank Josh Simons, who had we gone forward with this hearing had agreed to serve, to assist, and fortunately, we don't have to do that. <laughs> Josh is leading the applause on that. <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody for coming. Thank you, everyone. I, I appreciate very much the support um, shown by the people in the room. Thank you. All right, so I would uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved by Colleen and seconded Second. by Jerry. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.